Institute of Peace. She joins me here in the studio. Susan, thanks very much for coming in. Um, clearly, exuberation on the streets of Khartoum mm -hmm. today. How long does it last now that we know that there's going to be military rule in the country for the next couple of years at least? Well, I think the, the celebration is real, um, and the people have been struggling for a long time, and the effort has been, been serious, and so I think having that moment of celebration is important. Uh, but the concerns are really serious. Uh, many Sudanese have said very clearly what they envision for their future, and that a military-led government does not fulfill those aspirations. And so we've already heard from the Sudanese Professional Association that helped to organize these, these protests and sit-ins, that people will stay um, until then. I think we should be watching to see what happens between the senior levels within the military and those who are in rank and file. There are, have already been serious and significant defections that have taken place. I think we also need to watch what happens between the different parts of the security services. It's not just military and police. There's also the national intelligence services that are armed and uniformed. There are the rapid support forces. So some people refer to those as the Janjaweed 2.0, which you may remember from Darfur period. Um, and then some of the elements within the regime have their own militias that are affiliated with them. So I think there's some serious risks there. To what extent has Bashir um, degraded Sudan's economic capability? during the last few years, during his 30 years in power, and to what extent is the success or failure of what has just happened going to depend on whether whoever takes over now can deliver something economically to people there? Absolutely. I mean, the economy has continued to go into a, into a deep slide. The, the last time I was in the country, which was about a year ago, there was spot pricing taking place even then. So as you were eating your meal, the prices were changes because, changing because of the inflation. And so I think a really critical aspect... During the course, during of, the course meal, of a meal, it would change the because of, of inflation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I think really wow. critical will be to figure out how can any new government access the debt relief that they need, which from the U.S. perspective also means getting off of the list of states that sponsor terrorism. Um, and a military-led regime won't succeed in doing that any better than, than President Bashir was able to. Susan, if I were an EU leader, I would be really worried at this moment. I mean, presumably this, if it goes wrong, has the potential to destabilize not just Sudan, but a wider region and potentially lead to an awful lot of people seeking to get out of the region and head north into Europe. Indeed. I, I, I couldn't put it better. I think that um, Sudan is a large country. It sits at the bridge between East Africa, where we see massive political transitions taking place. Um, in Ethiopia, um, Prime Minister Abiy has been in power for one year, um, but that transition is, is also fragile. We have, um, obviously, the, the tremendous um, and tremendously difficult events taking place in Libya, a transition in Algeria. And so I think this, this really points to the need for, for the UK, for the United States, for other partners, and partners in the region as well, to define what are the parameters for a successful transition process based on what we're hearing from the Sudanese people. They've clearly articulated this. Um, and I, th I think there's some very clear ways that the international community can help to make sure that a transition gets onto the right track. Okay, Susan Stiggan, thank you very much for coming in uh, to join us. Great point there, Matthew, that, you know, we look at these countries, we look at them in isolation. Of course, as everybody in Europe knows, there are knock-on effects when there is an economic crisis of some kind in an African country.